What's up, good people? It's your man, Chris Thorns. As always, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever uh, you all watch this video, what's up, team Chris? Uh, what's up, Solo Nation? And salute to everybody else who will be watching this video. At the end, like, comment, subscribe, dislike, or however you so choose. Um... And whatever you choose, hey, you know, it's all good. No hard feelings, you know. Do what you do. This morning, I'm going to be talking about niggas again. Now, the last video I did, I talked about niggas and uh, baby mama drama. But this time, I'm just going to stick to the subject of niggas in general. Now, I guess the first thing you can say, uh, what can be said about niggas that ain't already been said? Or is there such thing as what can you say about niggas that ain't already been said? I don't know. A lot of stuff that we talk about is repetitive, but I don't give a shit. As far as that goes, you know, hey, no matter how repetitive we get, the shit just need to keep be kept talked about. You know, cause uh, niggas is stupid. Niggas just stupid in general. So I got a few things uh, I want to talk about when talking about niggas. So let's get right into it. First thing I want to talk about is the excuses that niggas make for anything. Niggas got an excuse for being broke. Nigga got an excuse for not working. Nigga got an excuse for having so many kids. Nigga got an excuse for living at home with his mama. Nigga got an excuse for living off his family in general. And why is that? The old saying goes that uh, excuses are just like assholes. Everyone, everybody got one. And that's what niggas got. An excuse for everything. I never seen a nigga that have an excuse for every fucking thing. Hey, bro, why you ain't working? Because I ain't got no car. Nigga, what? Why you put in no application? Well, because I woke up too late. Nigga, what? Why you staying home with your mama? Shit, I'm broke. Why you broke? It's funny when you ask them that, why they broke. You would think there's no comeback to that, but they would literally try to make an excuse for that too, why they broke. And there's always an excuse about what somebody else done did. And that's another thing I get tired of what niggas doing, you know, not taking accountability for their actions. It's always somebody else's fault as to why shit is going on with them. It's it, Niggas take no accountability for anything. I don't know what's the word for that by people who don't take, take accountability for stuff, but I actually did a show about that, you know, why we don't take accountability for shit. You know, and it's crazy as hell. It's crazy as hell. Y'all answer this for me. Do y'all got them niggas, kin folks, friends, or whatever, that ain't working, don't seem like they're trying to work, but they try to wait till you get paid. And when you get paid, they feel like it's payday for them. Y'all ever had them niggas, <laughs> when you get paid, they come to you talk about, like I said in one of my shows, Everybody got to get about uh, five, ten dollars. Let me buy about five, ten dollars. I'll pay you back. Wait a minute, motherfucker. How you going to pay me back? You ain't working. You ain't got a fucking dime in your pocket. So how the fuck you going to pay me back? And people, we got to stop letting folks, niggas in general, borrow money when they not working and knowing damn where they can't pay it back. So what I started doing now, I had to learn my lesson. I don't let no niggas borrow no money that ain't working. Now they gonna earn their fucking money. That's what they gonna do. Nigga, you gonna cut my grass, you gonna rake up some leaves or take out the garbage or something. You gonna earn that money because that way, I for I, two for two. You earn the money, you ain't gotta worry about paying me back. That's, that's how I do it now. You gonna earn this money. That you got them from me. You ain't borrowing shit. And people we need to stop. Letting motherfuckers borrow money. 
that ain't got shit. And it, same thing go for females too, you know what I'm saying? Same thing for females. You ain't working and you trying to get money from me, chick, you're going to earn this money. Doing the same thing. Washing my dishes, I mean, doing laundry, cutting the yard, raking up leaves, or whatever. You want to earn this fucking money. I'm not giving you shit. I'm not letting you borrow shit. Borrow means pay back, which a lot of niggas act like they don't understand that. Borrowing money means pay back. How you going to pay back something that you ain't got coming in, nigga? So, people, stop letting motherfuckers borrow money from you that you know they cannot pay you back. Now, speaking of excuses, somebody tell me this. How is it niggas got an excuse for shit that they know they need? But niggas ain't got an excuse for shit that they got that they wanted. Think about that for a minute. They a weed smoker? They always got weed. Is they a drinker? They always got their 40 ounce. Or they liquor or not. Or or, or, or they got money to get them a couple of loose squares. (laughs) Loose squares. Or get them a pack of cigarettes or whatever. Now, I tell you, loose squares back. Loose squares is when they wait for you to get paid. They wait for you to get paid and then borrow a couple of dollars off you and be like, hey, man, let me, let me, let me borrow a couple of dollars, man, so I get loose squares. Let me get some squares, some loose squares. <laughs> and I think that's the worst thing that it did for niggas too, man, is sell loose squares because, you know, make a nigga earn that pack of cigarettes. Don't let the nigga get by and buy loose squares. Make that nigga earn, make the nigga get off his ass and work. And buy a pack of cigarettes, you cheap motherfuckers. Real talk. Oh, baby, how about that, man? Let me buy a dollar, man. So I get a couple of Swiss and Swiss, man. Or a couple of cigarillos. Wait a minute. Dude, you just bought a bag of weed. How you don't have money to at least get you a two-pack of cigarillos that ain't number 99 cents. At least down here in Memphis, Tennessee. Number 99 cents. How the fuck you got money for weed? Which I know, you know what I'm saying, depending on what you get, it probably costs a pretty penny. I'm not a weed smoker. I don't smoke, period. I could be wrong in that. So whoever weed smokers, you know what I'm saying, probably can tell me something different on that. But regardless of what, though, you know, I know it don't cost a couple of dollars unless you just got a nigga that just fuck with you like that, which I ain't never heard that before because if he a, a dealer, he want his money. But anyway... How'd you get the money? Because you want the weed. But now you need the cigarillos to go with the weed. So now you can't get what you need because you spent your money on what you wanted in which what you wanted was the weed. Yeah. Got you with that one, huh? Real talk. Real stupid. So, uh, and the fathers of the niggas who stand at home laying up on their moms and all that shit, I don't see what's the excuse in that other than the fact that a lot of y'all like to use the excuse saying uh, my mom is sick, my mom needs help. But you must forget, nigga, I'm cool with you, you know what I'm saying? No, nigga, your mom ain't sick, she ain't need no help because how you help her when you're not working? How you help your mom when you're not working? How you help her uh, if she's sick? Nigga, you ain't doing nothing but sitting up in your mom's house, man, running up her utility bills and running up every damn thing else. And probably doing what you do best in her house is sleep. But you sure got money to deck out your car? You got money for those flash-ass rims. You got money to put TVs all up in your car and your seats and dashboard and all that shit. But you ain't got no money to help your moms out. It doesn't make sense. But you niggas try to make excuses to make to make it make sense. See, a lot of niggas convince they self of their own bullshit that they start to believe it. And if niggas who they hang around with act the same way that they do or have the same mindset that they do, we'll believe the same shit. I hear example. Got a cousin, don't fuck with him no more. I used to ask this nigga. Man, you put in an application. 
He'll tell me he go put in an application. All right, cool. Next couple of days later, I asked this motherfucker, hey, man, so what's the deal with the job? You know what I'm saying? Uh, they say something to you uh, about the application? Uh, no. I'm waiting on them to call me back. Okay, hey, you called them? No. So, dude, why aren't you sitting up here playing fucking video games and not checking on your application for work? How the fuck does this make sense to you? How's this logic to you? You know what this motherfucker tells me? Uh, man, you can't make nobody hire you. I said, nigga, who convinced you of that bullshit? Or who you trying to convince? Are you trying to convince you or are you trying to convince me? Here's the thing, people. Logically, yes, you cannot force no job to hire you. You can't force a job to hire you. But how you know that the fucking job won't hire you unless you get off your ass and try? Now, I've been taught this when I was a kid. When you put in an application, man, you supposed to flood that place with calls. At least that's how I was taught. You flood that motherfucker with calls. Let these motherfuckers know that you want to work. Because, man, a lot of these jobs, you put in an application, that you probably won't hear from them for damn near about three or four months down the road. Talk about, are you, hey, uh, are you still interested in working? When you put in an application, get them two or three days, then just, man, rack their ass over calls. I do that to this day. If I put in an application, I get them about two or three days. My am finna blow their fucking phone up. Because that's my ambition. I want to work. I don't want to sit up here waiting on other niggas or other females to get paid. And then asking them for a couple of dollars <laughs> for some loose squares. Or <laughs> Some loose squares or some uh, or a pack of cigarillos for for my weed. I can't do it. Real talk, I cannot do it. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell y'all niggas something. You niggas know what I'm saying who sit up there uh, living off of folks, bombing off their income and all that shit. I'm telling y'all now, and you niggas already know this, but let me tell you anyway. Ain't nothing like having your own. You best believe that you in your own world, your own rules, your own money, your own vehicle, your own every fucking thing. Ain't nothing like have your fucking own. But you need just so used to uh, depending on other folks, that shit just go in one ear and come out the other. But you know what? Hey, whatever floats your boat. But if everybody would stop fucking with you niggas like that, maybe you would get some common sense in your head. And get off your ass, go get your own shit. Stay laying up on everybody else. That's real talk. Somebody tell me I said something wrong. Uh, another thing uh, I want to talk about is uh, a lot of you niggas, I don't know where this shit is coming from. But for some reason, you niggas done got factuated with dick. I, I I don't know where that shit come from. You niggas talk about dick more than a female. And I said this in my last show. You motherfuckers talk about dick more than a fucking female. Last show I did, some jackass came in my chat room and said some bullshit talking about, uh, Chris, you like, you ain't never bust a nut. You bald-headed. You wear glasses. And some other shit he said. And I'm saying to myself, nigga, why the fuck does that even matter if I bust a nut or not? Nigga, why the fuck you worrying about my dick? I'm just saying, you trolls and pro-blacks always refer to dick. Sucking dick. Nigga on his knees. Niggas unzipping a man pan. He's sucking dick. He's committing fellatio. I never heard the term fellatio, but as I look this term of fellatio, wow, what do you know? Fellatio is divine, excuse me, damn, divine, 
is defined as oral stimulation of a man's penis when you use your mouth to provide sexual pleasure to a man by sucking his penis. This is an example of fellatio. This what we this what we uh the came down to now. So I don't believe what Chris says. I don't agree with what Chris says. So Chris is sucking dick. Or any other nigga is sucking dick because we saying something that you don't like. And you pro blacks, y'all y'all do this the worst. Now not all y'all I met a couple of you pro blacks, no one say they don't talk this stupid shit. But for the most of y'all. This y'all love going to that when motherfuckers disagree with you. Y'all love going to that shit. And I don't understand why. Every other word is dick. And every sentence that you use is dick. And every other sentence after that is uh somebody sucking dick. Dick, 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 dick. It used to be a point in time, I'm my 80s baby. It used to be a point in time. When I was growing up, 80s and the 90s, where if you disagree with someone, they would just tell you, hey, bro, I disagree with you, and this is why I disagree with you. Here is my beliefs. It wasn't none of all this gay rhetoric going on. So I don't know where this shit coming from. Gay slurs is on the rise now. So that's why I say, a lot of you niggas, your sexuality needs to be questioned. Because for niggas to talk about dick that much more than a female, something wrong. But a lot of you females, y'all still fuck with niggas who talk like this. They talk about dick more than you. And y'all don't see nothing wrong with this? You got to ask yourself, ladies, if you dating a man and he disagrees with another man and he just telling you that all this nigga doing is sucking dick. He's sucking dick. He's sucking dick. Why does it occur in y'all head? Wait a minute. This nigga talk about dick more than me. He talking about sucking dick more than me. Something wrong with this picture, bro. And if I was y'all later, I'd ask them niggas. Baby, uh, what's the business, you know? Um... Uh, I'm no female. I'm supposed to be talking about dick, but shit, you talking about dick more than I do. What's up? I mean, is the disagreement that bad? You got to go to talk about the man is gay? Or better yet, ladies, ask him, how you know he gay? That'd be a better question. How you know he sucked dick? How you know that he gay? If you don't know, then why do you always go that route? Talk about he is gay. Whatever happened to just disagreeing and just say, hey, I don't agree with what you say. And y'all niggas be detailed with this shit too. Y'all talk about that. Y'all be so fucking detailed with it. Like I said, oh, nigga on his knees, he unzipping pants. Oh, he got to have gills because he's sucking so much dick. Man, this shit's sad, man. It, it really is sad. So, you know, uh, I, I just don't get it. I guess it's something that logical men just won't understand or can't understand, whatever the case may be. But, again, I say, a lot of you niggas, you know what I'm saying? This is why we failing, man. I don't know if this is a shit that y'all learned in jail. This is a jail mentality. Or is it just a nigonomics? You know, I don't know what it is. You know? Um, and, and speaking of jail, too, I want to talk about that real quick, too. I always ask this question. What's up with niggas in jail? What's up with that? Now, the reason I ask that is because uh, if you go to jail because of a mistake, I mean, everybody make mistakes. I'm not going to say that everybody perfect. Everybody make mistakes. So you make a mistake that lands you in jail, and you get a second chance and get out of jail. 
why do your dumb ass get out of jail go right back to doing what the fuck you got in trouble for? Somebody explain that one to me. Now, I done asked niggas this before. The ones who've been in jail, you know what they tell me? Well, to them, it's a safe haven. Or to them, they say it's that uh, that's all niggas know is jail. They feel like uh, they say it's a safe haven because ain't nobody out here giving a fuck about them. You know, I guess they can't keep a roof over their head or keep a meal or money or whatever. So I guess they ready to make this mistake over and over and over again, going back to jail. Look, let me tell y'all something. I don't believe in that bullshit time. That's all that people know is jail. That's bullshit to me. And uh, again, y'all convincing yourself of that bullshit. I don't believe that at all because you being a human being, you should know more than jail. I'm sorry. Mother, everybody know more than jail. They just like you, you ask me, you know, uh, man, uh, why you work so much? And I say, man, that's all I know is work. Come on, man, that ain't all I know is work. Hell, I do this when I get a chance to. That ain't all I know. Hell. I I, I just don't get it, man. So, you know, uh, I wish you niggas would start convincing yourself of that bullshit time out of uh, jail is a safe haven and jail is um uh, all that you know because that's not all you niggas know. Come on, man. That ain't all you niggas know. If, that, if that's all you niggas know, then no one of the black community is failing. If that's all that you know. Real talk. Real talk. But in then though, you know, that's all I got right now for this morning. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, want to speak on that. Uh, get my thoughts on niggas or whatever. And brothers, you know what I'm saying? Brothers, niggas, whatever you want to call it. Hey, we got to do better than what we're doing. Too many people have been preaching this. And a lot of y'all just letting this shit go in and one ear coming out the other, man. But we got to do better than what we're doing. Because we are failing in the black community. We are feeling the young generation, and we are feeling these young kids, especially the little, especially the women, the little women. We are feeling them bad, because anytime the best thing a young female got is to holler words out hip hop all day, including the young niggas, we ain't doing something right, and we need to get that shit back on track, man, before it's too late. If it ain't already too late. You know, so, uh, man, come on now. Come out your uh, safe haven that you call jail and get into reality. All right? It's your man Chris Thorne. Peace, holler one.